Here today I have with me the most ethical man on the planet. But you know, I'm joking around, but he got an 8 out of 9 on the AMC preview, the situational judgment test that the AMC is using. A lot of medical schools, I think UCLA, UC Davis, University of Massachusetts, uh, Utah, Mercer, I could go on and on, St. Louis University, they're using the AMC preview as part of their admissions process. And a lot of kids are wondering, you know, how do I prepare for this thing? So we got the man himself, Ron, my good childhood friend. He got an 8 out of 9, that's 99th percentile. No. 98th percentile, so very, very, very high score, of course. And he's gonna teach us about how how he went through it. So, Ron, what school did you apply to that kind of required this uh, AMC preview? I only applied to one school, St. Louis University. Yeah. So uh, I know there's a couple, but I only applied to the one. Right on. Just for that one school, you wrote that hundred dollar test. Yeah. Really, absolutely ridiculous. And, and and I heard you had like a lot of troubles writing that test. Like, can you go through that? Man, I had so many technical problems writing that test. Part of it was me. Part of it was AMC preview and their user interface. Yeah. Basically, Basically, it started off the first time around, I wasn't able to start writing the test due to some problem on their end. Okay. I communicated with them, got a, a refund. I'll give them, you know, the good word that yeah. it was actually a fairly easy process to get a refund mm -hmm. and I just got another test. The second time, there was some guy that had to assist me on it and he was just figuring out for 20 minutes how to get it working on my computer because apparently there was something downloaded on my laptop that was preventing the um, the safety software. Pro to, Proctor IO, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Proctor to prevent it from like yeah. working on my laptop. So you know, we had to go through that entire ordeal because it's mm -hmm. a pretty invasive uh, test, I'm not gonna lie. Like the, the software, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But you know, once I got the uh, technical problems over, you know, I took a deep breath and just had to start mm -hmm. writing the test. And at what point in your application cycle did you write it? So I'm assuming you maybe wanted to write it in June, but then it got canceled? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I wrote it, I selected my first date for June, yeah. and the rescheduled date was like late July. Late July. Yeah. And it usually takes like a month after to, to exactly. release so it. Right? I got it um, end of August. End of August. Yeah. So do you think that kind of affects uh, the timeline? Because for rolling admission schools, you know, getting that score in at end of August. Well, of course, yeah. Of, yeah. Of rolling admission school, you want to get in as early as possible. But mm -hmm. I, maybe for AMC preview, since it's still like yeah. an introductory thing, yeah, they could, you know, not necessarily look at it. It's so okay that, if you don't get it in. Perhaps, perhaps some schools. So some schools say the AMC preview is like more like research only, or it's recommended or optional. Uh, you gotta take a look at the list, but obviously try to write as soon as possible. That means you know June, July latest. Uh, you shouldn't be writing it in like October, oh, yeah, those last yeah, days. Yeah, 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 definitely not. And awesome, so how did you prepare for this thing? Like, did you spend like a week, a month? Like, um, I'd say the beauty of the AMC preview, yeah. it's, okay, once again, it's just one of a dozen random tests that they're trying to pile on to us, you know, suck out every dollar. Yeah. But I think, I think the beauty of it is yeah. that I found it to be like pretty logical mm -hmm. in terms of it is an ethical test that you can almost study for as compared to Casper, yeah. which you can practice for. Yeah. Uh, but AMC, they gives you, you know, the four different options. Very ineffective to very effective. Exactly. Yeah. So in those four options, once you understand what they're looking for, yeah. then you apply that thinking to every single question. And, you know, hammering in the 30 practice questions as, as well as some of the resources that I found online, uh, you know, they are pretty limited as this is a new test, but one of them is the Bright Talk. Genuinely helped me just in terms of, you know, getting in as many questions as possible. Mm -hmm. Over the course of a week, week and a half, I was doing, you know, a few a day. Yeah. And by the end, I felt really confident going into the test. And it wasn't intensive at all. I would okay, say yeah. 20 minutes a day, 15 minutes a day. Like the questions are multiple choice. You can get through them super quickly. That's true. And, and would you try to like go through the sample AFC material and the other resources you used and kind of try to like memorize the logic or did it start just clicking after a couple Honestly, minutes? Honestly, it wants you like the logic's really simple, right? Okay, like, yeah. For very effective, it improves all aspects of the situation. Yeah. For effective, it improves some, but there could be some improvement. Yeah. Eventually yeah. you just start seeing how it works. Would you say you have to really pay attention to the instructions? Because that's one thing I hear a lot. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, the instructions are available before you write the test. And yeah, so yeah. reading them over and incorporating the instructions into your study process is essential for getting a good score. Oh yeah. yeah. A lot of people mess this up, like I don't get as good of a score as Ron, but if you just read them, like a very good answer, a very effective, has like a higher probability of improving the situation. Like once you figure like those definitions and kind of ingrain them in your head, Basically. it gets a little bit easier. Anyway, so what'd you say about this compared to the Casper? You thought it was a better test? I thought it was better. Yeah. It's the Casper is so stressful that time. <laughs> yeah. Five minutes, you know, three written questions. This one, you are, 
unless like you were uh, really thinking about every single question, yeah. you do not need the entire time limit that they give you. So I say it's like a way less stressful test just mm -hmm. from personal experience. Yeah. You know, I was going over them, then, you know, flagging the questions that I wasn't sure about, yeah. you know, leisurely going back, reading them over. And I had more than enough time. Like I submitted it with like a good chunk of time left from what I remember. So in summary, study a little bit every day in terms of those, you know, there's limited materials, right? So maybe start a week and a half, two weeks in advance, a little every single day. Exactly. Review your mistakes. Exactly. Make sure you have that logic ingrained. Yeah. You know, that comes with reading the instructions and doing the practice material. Mm -hmm. And, you know, once you're in the test, really make sure that you don't have technical problems. Go yeah. over the tutorial they provide you. You know, make sure you don't have any software that may interfere with the test date. I think we kind of got thrown off because it was either Proctor IO or Proctor U. One of those two things, which Canadian schools don't really use because we're, we're Canadian. So it was like a whole new software experience for us. Uh, but maybe, maybe it'll be a little better for y'all. Yeah. But thank you, Ron. So Ron actually does offer one-on-one -on -one consulting and tutoring. If you're struggling on the AMC preview, maybe you're applying to UCLA, maybe you're applying to St. Louis, these are one of your dream schools, you really want to do well on this test. Uh, Ron's information is right here. You can contact him to talk to him. You know, he can tutor you on the thinking to get that logic right. Also, the Bright Doctor, the question bank, AFC Preview Question Bank, link is right here. That's another amazing resource, probably the most extensive resource in terms of AMC Preview questions outside the official ones provided by the AMC. And that's about it, y'all. If you have any questions, leave it out in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.